I think that there were two things that struck me from yesterday and also today. Yesterday, what was interesting was that this concept of or this term premature deindustrialization is something we often use, but we don't really understand exactly what it is. And it was very clear in the presentation yesterday that it's not obvious what it is. It's not even obvious that countries in Africa and Asia are going through premature deindustrialization. And that's interesting. It just tells us that we need to do more work empirically and uh, from a policy point of view, understanding exactly what's going on in terms of industrialization in Africa and, and Asia in particular. So the real question right now that all of us are actually grappling with and this workshop is grappling with is that is industry or manufacturing still the engine of growth? That's always been the case if you see the high income countries now. Manufacturing was very important for them, the early stages of development. You also see that with East Asia, the countries that have done very well, uh, South Korea, Taiwan, Hong Kong, Singapore, uh, Japan, China, they also went to manufacturing first and then of course onto services. So this is something we've seen in many parts of the world and this is how countries become rich. Question is, is this the case now for the future? And there are two reasons to believe that it might not be the case. Firstly, what we're seeing is technology coming in where jobs are being lost in manufacturing, automation, obviously. And that would mean that perhaps manufacturing's role as being both a provider of jobs and also a provider of growth might not happen at the same time. So that's the first thing. The second thing is the service itself is changing. It's changing because we have now digital technology coming in, where face-to-face -face costs of you know, working with somebody, now it's very possible to work with somebody in a different country, to telemigration, for example. And that means that services might not might have terms of properties which we never thought they had before. Services can be tradable, can be very productive, productivity enhancing, can have the same sort of scale economies, knowledge spillovers, learning by doing, which you always thought manufacturing had. So then the question is, what's the future of jobs for tomorrow? Is it going to be service driven for growth and subtle transformation or is it going to be manufacturing? The answer to that is really what we're going to debate in the policy panel, because that's a really fundamental question when we try to advise countries in the low income world, in Africa, Asia, and so on, which way should they go? Should they follow the old development path of manufacturing, or should they now start thinking of services as a mecha mechanism and the engine of growth?